Hi and welcome to Lightscribe.tv A question I've been asked hundreds of times over the years is what do I need to create a Lightscribe label? The reason I'm asked this is because people sometimes assume that the equipment they've already got in their PC or laptop will do the job. Sometimes they realise maybe they need something different but they don't know what it is. Now, over the years I've also put together on each of my websites a page of information explaining what you need. But it's come to really, I think these days, a quick, hopefully too, not too long anyway, video on explaining the basics of what's required for Lightscribe is a better way forward. So along with the text information, I'm creating this video for Lightscribe.tv and also on all of my sites. So, let's get to answer the question. What do you need to create a Lightscribe label? Well, there are three things that allow you to go from the picture on the left, a collection of photos, images, however you um, want, what do you want to put on your label, to the image on the right, which is a Lightscribe version of the photos. So, what do we need? Three things. Firstly, a Lightscribe enabled DVD drive. Now, when we say enabled, what we mean is it has a different or a separate circuit within it that allows the drive to be used to create Lightscribe labels. So, this tends to rule out, even in our own minds when we're not sure, the possibility of using the drive that already exists in our PC or laptop. Secondly, Lightscribe CDs or DVDs. Hmm, once again, are we looking at something different here from the ordinary? And thirdly, Lightscribe software. So what programs do we need to make this all work? So, Lightscribe drive, Lightscribe CDs and Lightscribe software. Let's have a look at the drive first. You can have an internal drive, one that's fitted to your PC or laptop, or you can use a USB connected external drive. I nearly forgot. Lightscribe duplicators. Now, if you're really a serious, <laughs> very serious um, labeler, um, more for people in the music and DVD industries, people who use them for commercial reasons, but want, not wanting to use commercial duplication of their DVDs and CDs, you can buy Lightscribe duplicators. Now these will speed the process up of, well, duplicating. They're like basically Lightscribe copiers. So you put one um, disc you've created in the top drive and depending on the size of the duplicator, they can go literally from a single one which just basically copies one to one up to what you can see on there which is you know a phenomenal stack these are not cheap I will say that so they're not for the hobbyist they're for the professional so that's the drive secondly CDs and DVDs so what's the difference well a normal as I call it disc um, looks like this this is the um, face side that you would um, use your black marker pen or stick a sticky label over when you've decided what you want to label it as or call it. So what's different between that and a Lightscribe CD or DVD? Well, that's different. Lightscribe discs have got a coating um, on the surface and this coating is what reacts or burns with the laser which creates the images that create a Lightscribe label. Needless to say you cannot use the ones on the left you have to have Lightscribe discs. Now the big question that's well been raised since Lightscribe's introduction is can we have coloured labels? Well, no, is the quick answer. What we have, though, is an alternative. 
not necessarily the same by any means. The gold disc on the right is the standard light scribe disc. The five discs on the left are the various colours that can be bought. Orange, red, green, yellow and blue. They still produce, like the one on the right, the standard gold, a monochromatic image. However, if you want a different colour background, you can use these coloured ones. Personally, I stick to the gold, but that's preference. So, we have our drive, we have our disks. What about the software? What can we use, or what do we need to use, to create the labels to burn on the disks? Well, there are two parts of the LightScribe software equation. System software and labeling software. Unlike most programs that we run on PCs or Macs or Linux systems, because LightScribe will run on all three systems, not only do we need a labeling software, but we have to have a special piece of software called the system software that connects in a software sense, our drive to our labeling software. It understands that the drive we have is in fact LightScribe enabled. Most commonly referred to or referred well to as the LightScribe control panel. The system software when it's installed produces this utility and it's through that, that the labeling software communicates. Now, the labeling software, there are two free uh, LightScribe software applications. One, the simple labeler, and by name and it's not misnamed, it is simple. You can do text and basically that's it. Or the LightScribe template labeler, which you can use various templates and add some text or maybe even some of your own images to specific parts of the template. It's flex much more I should say it's much more flexible than the simpler labeler. However, there are limitations. And if those limitations are too great for you, then your choice is premium software. I produce the Lightscribe toolbox. Uh, which is a premium um, software application. Now, this will allow you to do virtually anything with your label, text, graphics, wherever you want, positioned however. Well, it's, it's quite simply very, very flexible. Um, there are other applications, uh, premium paid for applications by other manufacturers, and um, they all do, I will say, a similar type of job. They add to the advantages of LightScribe by giving you an extra layer of flexibility. So, what do we need to create a LightScribe label? LightScribe Drive, LightScribe DVD or CDs, and LightScribe software. So we can go from those pictures, a collection of images, to our LightScribe Drive, our LightScribe disk, our labelled very professional looking. If you've not seen one, you will be surprised how good they look. This is a professional looking label produced at home. And that's something you can't do with any other type of system. The next series of three videos that follow this one are going to go into the three aspects a little bit more deeply. So we go into more about the LightScribe drive and what makes them different. How can you know if your drive is LightScribe or not? Even if you bought one that says it is or that you've been sold as, how can you tell? LightScribe DVDs and CDs, what you need to know, all you need to know, in fact, about them. And LightScribe software, free or premium. And the pros and cons of both, because sometimes the free stuff is perfectly all right. 
it'll do the job you want don't spend any more money in fact apart from buying the drive and the discs you can lightscribe from a software perspective for nothing but if you want the extra flexibility premium software is the way to go so thanks for watching i hope this hasn't been too long and um, the next three videos that follow this will explain a little bit more deeply about the three aspects thanks very much and enjoy lightscribe